Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you a battle where I played against uh, players who, who have a bit uh, higher ranks uh, than mine. Um, and I use a tactic called holding the position. So, uh, for uh, resistance, it's kind of a bad idea to. Um, to defend the base, however, you can defend your position while you are attacking, so it's kind of you're defending your attack. Um, this tactic uh, works when uh, your opponents have a bit better upgrades, they are better upgraded than you, or if they are higher ranked than you, and it works still ranked for or even yeah to rank 14 or 15 if you have if you have uh, uh, about maybe 55 uh, percent of win maybe 50. so uh, you already know that uh, kind of all units of concentrations are stronger than units from resistance and it means that uh, they are uh, infantry are stronger hammers are stronger and of course uh, bunkers are super strong so uh, yes uh, you happen to fight with Zeus vertex a lot of hammers, but on the other hand, how to fight against uh, assault, uh, fortress, uh, bunkers, all the units are pretty strong. Um, so, I start battle, I scouted kind of bad uh, uh, the map, but they have enough forces, enough resources. Uh, how scouted my teammate? He didn't scout well his own kill. He didn't scout the uh, area in front of the enemy's base. He didn't scout it at all uh, area between enemy's bases, and he didn't scout it at all uh, hill uh, behind enemy base. So, and more than that, he took my own container. So. Uh, so he didn't grab. Uh, so I have fewer resources, and my opponents have uh, more resources that they should. Um, I advise you if you play with guy with your friends, uh, I advise you to leave uh, some containers. Uh, if you scout uh, better than your teammate. If you play with a newbie, you know that you are stronger than your uh, teammate, you can uh, grab all containers and even from your teammate. Um, green player is trying to scout uh, yellow player. Uh, he wastes uh, 300 resources for nothing. Uh, it's better to use uh, this assault for scouting in the future or uh, for defense of his base. And more than that, uh, my teammate uh, he spent uh, uh, another hundred resources to build tower that he don't need at all. Uh, so I am not trying to produce uh, grenadiers for the first beginning. I am producing uh, first of all armadillo because I need a critical amount of armadillo. Uh, for example, uh, I have uh, 10 armadillo. It means that uh, uh, even if I am not destroying any space, I have possibility to destroy a couple of uh, buildings. Um, or I have possibility to move from one enemy base to another. So, 
Um, um, I waited uh, some seconds to have uh, resources for upgrades of barracks and I will use uh, some snipers. So I don't really need a lot of them, maybe four, maybe five and it is enough. Uh, also I need uh, grenadiers. I'm attacking a big plate. Uh, um, it is better to attack, uh, in my case, when I had uh, maybe 40 uh, common points, um, because I have to produce instantly units. For me, it's uh, important to enforce my enemy to lose a lot of resources. So I'm going to make my opponent to play on my rules. Um, I'm not going to hide my attack and I'm not going to destroy his base from the first attack. I want him to spend a lot of resources on units that I can defeat easily. And it doesn't matter what unit, even if you produce a lot of bunkers, for me it's uh, reasonable. Because uh, as more he spends resources, uh, as fewer he will have, uh, as later he will have uh, such units as Zeus and uh, uh, Vertex. And of course, uh, he can't uh, allow himself to produce a lot of hammers. Uh, but anyway, you should play aggressively by using this tactic. Um, he lose some infantry because of my snipers. And here there are uh, some hammers. I told to my teammate uh, I showed him the red point, uh, like uh, move to the red point, because uh, sooner or later a uh, green player will have to uh, help a uh, blue player. Um, as you have seen, there were two hammers of green player. And uh, my teammate should uh, use this advantage and to attack a uh, green player while his base will be empty. Um, but uh, he didn't use this possibility. Um, I want to mention that you're not, you don't really have to destroy uh, units only with snipers, because uh, it's impossible to destroy uh, a tot uh, uh, bunker with snipers, really you will need uh, maybe five minutes to destroy with 10 snipers only one uh, bunker uh, so I have already 10 uh, armadillo I feel that I'm pretty prepared to move forward to destroy that uh, uh, fencing building uh, tower and Anyway, I'm not going now forward, because there might be more uh, units, as you see there are 5 hammers, so I enforce enemy to, you to spend again and again resources, and here my attacks uh, goes already 6 minutes, say, no, 4 minutes, only 4 minutes and uh, defense is defeated. Uh, if you play Confederation, it's kind of easy to defend your base if you build a lot of uh, uh, bunkers and you wait till you will have, I don't know, maybe uh, seven hammers. He spent uh, 300 resources for nothing. He tried to build a rocket tower but uh, if this tower is not good upgraded it is 
very easy to destroy a rocket tower with uh, uh, with snipers. As you see, my teammate also have pretty good uh, army. He got uh, uh, jaguars, uh, grenadiers, snipers, but he don't uh, use his units. So. Uh, my opponent does have no army and uh, I even destroyed his base because he spent twice uh, more resources than me and I saved my units for uh, more efficient attack and if you preserve your army uh, sooner or later your enemy it's a big chance that, uh, for example, green player will have already vertex and he will destroy your base easily. Um, even if you are attacking only one player, uh, of course, uh, green player can produce uh, uh, vertex, but he couldn't destroy all your seven common points. It's kinda a lot. Uh, and you have a lot of infantry for uh, vertex is difficult to destroy infantry so a green player could have two possibilities or to destroy a high Q and you'll have a super strong army or to destroy your army only half and you'll have possibility to produce a lot of uh, kind of fast uh, uh, porcupine uh, I want to mention that always try to play by yourself because it's kind of often you play with uh, teammates idiot thanks for watching subscribe